step one in any good prep for a detail, we generally recommend that you start with an engine bay. And the reason being is that a lot of times you're using some fairly caustic chemicals. You may have a lot of oil buildup under the bonnet, and you may have leaves and debris that have gathered up in the cowl area, and you're going to be blasting those off. So if you're washing your car and doing the outside prep beforehand, you're just going to be doing it over again. So what I suggest is pop your hood and you look at what you've got to deal with under here. How dirty is the underside of the bonnet? How much oil and grease are built up on the side panels? Look at the engine itself. Do I have to cover any components? Um, this car has got a cold air intake. You don't want to introduce a whole lot of water to that during your prep process. So you take a, a garbage bag, you cover stuff like this up. If you have an older car with a distributor and a coil and possibly carburetors, you want to bag those at the beginning as well. And what that's going to do is going to save you a lot of pain because if you get water into your coil or into your distributor, it's not going to start when you get, a, get the car and move it back into your garage. So just take a little time and look at what you're dealing with. These modern cars, they're pretty safe as long as you cover up this cold air intake. Um, yesterday when we prepped this, everything got wet. You can see these spark plug holes are actually sealed up really well. The air intake and all the plumbing is very well sealed and the electronics are very well sealed. The 60 Yaris cars, they were kind of touchy. So you have to take a lot more care with an older vehicle. But what we do once we get to the point where we've bagged everything up and we've determined our course of action, scrub your bonnet first because the dirt's going to fall. You don't want to clean your engine first and then have this dirt come raining down on it. So scrub your bonnet. Now what we're doing with this one, because it's not clear coated at the factory, we're actually going to apply the white new here and it's going to give this a finished look just like the outside, a lot of inexpensive foreign cars, they don't bother shooting clear coat under here because it saves them money in the production process. And if you're showing, that's one thing that kind of detracts. If everything in here is bright and shiny and there's just base coat here, it doesn't look so good. So what we can do with the white new is actually give you a clear coat finish on the underside of your bonnet if you want to go that route. Um, you want to make sure this is very, very clean. Um, what we recommend is a, a pressure washer. If you have one, you can also use a garden hose, but typically we get a, we get a, a nylon brush, usually a series of bigger, uh, bigger uh, diameter of nylon brushes that'll, you know, with a handle about four inches long. We usually use a couple of two inch paint chip brushes. And what they're for, for dislodging dirt and all the little nooks and crannies. But you spray your degreaser of choice. It can be simple green. Um, 409 diluted at about a 4 to 1 ratio, get the engine damp, and then just work in sections. Um, spray your chemical, like let's say we break it into thirds. We start right here and we spray from all the different angles. You want to give it time to soak if you've got a lot of heavy oil buildup. And then you use your big brushes for cleaning your light housings, for all your surrounding sheet metal, for the firewall and the cowl. And then your small brushes just to get into all these little busy spots. And once you feel satisfied that you've done enough, just very lightly mist off the chemical and stand back and look because it's going to dry fairly rapidly and if you missed a spot you come back and touch it up and then you just move to your next section to your next section. After that's done, close the hood and let it dry while you do the rest of your prep. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to apply the white new. We're going to start high with the underside of the hood and again what we're trying to create is a what would seemingly be a factory clear coat finish from just a base coat finish. And what that'll do is it's gonna give you more visual appeal. So we're gonna work from here down to the cowl. We're gonna hit the major components of the engine with our white new applicator rag. And then for the small busy parts, we're actually going to take a bottle that you can purchase at any home store and put your product in. And what this will allow you to do is to evenly apply white new to the really, really busy parts and the areas where you really don't wanna get in with a rag and perhaps knock something loose. So this is what you want to do. It, it looks like I'm going really fast, and I am, but that's the way this chemical likes to be applied. It, it has a flow out time that's fairly rapid, so you don't want to be going slow. You actually want to get it, get your coverage complete and get it on fast and let it do its thing because it, it has to actually flow out and settle. And if you were to go back and retouch that area there that I've already been on with chemical now, you don't get as good a result. You don't get as, uh, the continuity of the way it flows out will be inhibited. Now, what you want to do is you want to work from the center line of the car back out, working the cowl. Everything is done kind of like painting the floor of a house. You don't want to pin yourself in by doing this and then having to come up here and lean on your work. So just think tactically 
as you're doing this that you don't hinder yourself by coating a part of the car that you shouldn't too soon. When you get down into areas like this, small detail paintbrush is great because your fingers are big and they don't always fit. It's entirely up to the applicator how detailed you want to get. I, I'm a detailer by trade, so I like complete coverage. So you'll see I'm, I'm working all these little busy areas. And if you take the time to do it, and again, it's a one-time application, you know, spend the time and do it right. Apply it to everything that, that you possibly can, and then you're done. And really, down the road, um, the maintenance to an engine that's coated like this is just a clear water rinse, maybe a little soap and water every now and then. All these, all these surfaces that tended to hold on to dirt and road grime won't do it anymore because the coating is so slick. You're going to take your spray bottle. You just want to mist the product very lightly in there. You can do the plastic. That's the overflow bottle for the radiator. All these vacuum lines, even this aluminum. A lot of times this aluminum will be discolored from maybe a previous detailer using a caustic chemical on it. If you spray our product on, it actually restores the color to it and the gloss. You see what we're doing here is we're working angles. You want to be able to look in this engine bay from any angle and not see a dry spot. Okay? Got light housing down in here. Again, there are no hard and fast rules. It just it all is dependent upon what you're expecting and what you want as a final result. You got a kind of a busy area here. This is where the coil pack is and all your uh, spark plug wires run in. You can't get a rag in there, but just a light mist and you're done. Same thing with the top of the engine. That's actually a powder coated surface. Air product is formulated to bond a powder coat. See how the front of the, uh, the timing belt cover brings that back to life. All these belts and hoses, all it does is protect them. It's not dangerous for any of these soft rubber parts. painted surface rather than misting it. Try to give it a wipe because it, it just seems to flow out better. After you've done that section you want to wipe that overspray off the car before it has a chance to cure and it's not super critical that you do it right away. You've got a couple of minutes before it starts to cure but you just want to make that part of your routine. As you use that mister whatever section of the car is adjacent to it you want to come back wipe that overspray away. Again, you just come back, wipe down your... Oh my god. That looks like you put a new engine in my car. It's still maybe a little... That is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it looks like it's been dipped in shine. I mean, that's just...